It's hoped that one day even the orphaned orangutans raised in forest school can make a similar journey. But Lona's priority is to get adult orangutans like Mustapo out first. He's had minimal human contact, so a better chance of survival. Unfortunately, with so many wild orangutans coming in, the forest school orangutans are continually bumped to the back of the queue. In fact, right now, it's hard to see them ever reaching the front. <laughs> are you being a little bit brave here now, are you? Look at this big guy. In a strange way, these orangutans are lucky. They were rescued from marginal and rapidly shrinking patches of forest, where eventually they would have been killed or starved to death. But now they're heading to one of the largest areas of safe orangutan habitat left in Borneo. Lifting 25 orangutans into one of the remotest and most inaccessible forests on Earth is a logistical nightmare for Lona. There are so many people, agencies and departments involved, and it only takes one link to fail for the chain to break and send her back to square one. <laughs> the release has already been delayed by over two months and some of these orangutans have spent nearly a year in a cage waiting for this flight. Lona is desperate to get them back out quickly while they're still wild. But nothing can be left to chance, especially when you've got powerful orangutans like Mustapo on a small plane. We haven't had anybody who's tried to escape yet. So it's not, I'm not too worried about it, but because he is a hormonal male, um, and we're going to be 50 minutes on that flight. I really do not want him to sort of like break out. I mean, he, him escaping, you know, being in mid-air, I'm not quite sure the captain is going to appreciate that. <laughs> but these hormonal males are just like almost impossible to predict what they're going to do. 